Hi friends, pattern predictions. It is a Monday and that means we're looking out over the next two weeks. You always can get the 14 day forecast from our app, but this is where we like to go a little bit deeper and tell you why the forecast looks the way it does. Just a reminder, if you're watching on social media, it's hit or miss. Anytime you want to see all of our videos, you come right to our homepage, OneDegreeOutside.com or our app. All right, so here's what's going on in the next 14 days. You've got a lot of summer feeling, don't you? You'll notice a couple of dips. One of those dips is later this week. We talked about this in insights, but we'll touch upon it again in a minute. That's with the remnant moisture of barrel, what was the hurricane. And then then you can see another dip toward the end of the 14 day period. That one might come with a little relief. A lot of you have asked, can you get us a dew point forecast in the app? That would be a bit of a build, although you have it in the hourly forecast. If you have a tablet, turn it sideways, you'll see the dew point forecast show up. In terms of the 14 day dew point, we'll have to cover that through the videos and let's do it. You can see overall, you got a lot of humidity around this week. A dew point in the 60s and 70s is humid to just downright tropical air. This comes with that barrel leftover moisture. And then you get a little drop as we get toward the end of the weekend. And and a bigger drop, perhaps, as we get toward the end of the 14 day forecast. We only think it would be about maybe a three day reprieve if it comes to pass, but that's the way it looks right now. Talked in insights, and I'll reference you to insights so I don't repeat it all again about the moisture with barrel linking up with the cold front and then giving us a higher chance of showers, thunderstorms, and downpours as the week goes on and higher amounts as well. You'll start to get some real downpours embedded in there. And we talked about generally a three inch rainfall in parts of northern New England, but localized amounts that may go over five when you tally it up over the next five days. Most of that coming later on Wednesday. But nonetheless, what's happening at the jet stream level is yeah, you've got a northern disturbance dropping in grabbing that moisture from barrel. What's interesting is we really have to watch as we get out toward midweek the Atlantic. I mean, this is obviously tropical season, right? You got a big dome of high pressure, both of the surface and a loft that's out over the ocean. Well, there's also going to be look at this an upper level storm traveling around the south side of this. Look at the forecast on this. It is to come closer to the Atlantic coast and then even turn north up the seaboard as we get toward the end of this week, maybe Friday into Saturday. Now we'll see if it even amounts to anything, right? It's cold air aloft. It's a storm aloft. Does it actually to create anything at the surface harder to do, but as it comes over the Gulf Stream, something to watch. It may give some rain to the South Coast Friday into Saturday, whereas you don't get too much as we talked about in insights compared to folks farther north over the next several days. Then we get to the upcoming end of the weekend. We do have a bit of what we call a trough in the jet stream, a dip in the jet stream that does allow for at least some cooler, less humid air, and that's what you saw in that graph that I showed you at the start of this video, right? So you're going to continue with that, but as we get into the early part of next week, notice the disturbances that come overhead. The jet stream winds are overhead and the jet stream steers disturbances in the atmosphere. So this raises your chance of showers and storms in the early part of next week. It does look by the time we get to the end of next week, we start to get at least some quieter conditions and we probably find some slightly more comfortable air that comes into play as well. So you have to wait about 10 or 11 days to get it, but it ends up coming in for you. You can see the chance of precipitation quite high with the remnant moisture of barrel. It goes up again as we talked about with the disturbances in the early part of next week and goes down each time you get a little slug of some drier air to come in. Also a reminder, you can get the app. You search noises one degree outside weather app on the app store for Apple. For Google, it's easier just to go to our homepage one degree outside.com. Click the Android link at the top of the banner in the top right of the screen. That's the way your pattern predictions looked. I hope you like this. Have a great rest of your day.